Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your August 2020 monthly tarot check. This is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I thank you all so much for watching readings and liking and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate that. And um, I, I just want to tell you thanks for that. And if you're new, I'd love to invite you to join this beautiful community by becoming a subscriber. You can tap the bell if you want to know as soon as videos are posted, but I'm on every week. So later in the week on Fridays, I do a weekly message. And then I, of course, do this monthly message. I'm going to, later on in August, do a seasonal tarot reading for September, October, November, and December, all right? That'll be towards the end of August. So let's begin. What is the guidance here for Sagittarius, please? Guidance, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Sagittarius. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know here, please? All right. Here we go. Now remember, it's always somebody's reading. It's not always everybody's. So if it doesn't resonate, you can always check a different part of your chart. And it can be even more meaningful sometimes if this is your sun sign. So you, your current position, you've got this 10 of wands and the immediate influence on it is the Hierophant. The destiny here, you've got the Nine of Swords, the more distant past, you have the Knight of Swords, the more recent past, the Three of Cups. You've got the Page of Swords coming towards you. You're represented by the Six of Cups. The person or situation around you is Judgment. Your hopes and fears are the Seven of Cups, and you've got the Nine of Cups in the outcome. Now the bottom of the deck, because I always pull two for clarifiers, you've got the Page of Cups in the Sun, all right? So you definitely have a watery energy here to this. And um, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you've got Leo here, you have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you do have um, a little bit of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you know, you've got, you've got a reunion of sorts here. You've got it like three or four different times, okay? So if somebody's trying to pull back a reconciliation, I definitely think it's, uh, there's an opportunity here, all right? That's for sure. Um, it also could be something from your past is going to come forward and it's going to bring in great stuff. So if it's not a reconciliation with somebody, there's somebody that you've known who's going to be a catalyst for something really great. Um, so your current situation with the Ten of Wands, it's like you've been carrying some burdens here. It may feel like the weight is completely on your shoulders, right? Like the at Atlas from um, mythology, you know, feeling the burdens of, of life. And um, with a Ten, it's a conclusion of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So it's time to put the weight of all that down. Um, but the other thing about it too, you have managed it, all right? He carries the wands up, up off the ground. These aren't like dragging on the ground because he can't do it. It's you being strong, it's you being in your power, and it's you moving forward. Um, but it's time to, you know, it feels like you're coming into a situation where you can rest on your laurels a little bit where you'll be able to kind of take a break and go through life with ease, more ease than this. So with the Hierophant, this is also a change. It's a five. And so you have a change in a cycle, okay? And it's coming out of some difficulties into something much better. The Hierophant is a marriage card. It's certainly about um, spirituality. So for some of you, connecting with your source energy is a huge part of this and pulling you into um, the next phase, into the next part of the journey that looks really beautiful. So with the Hierophant too, um, this can be about going back to school. It can certainly be, like I said, a marriage um, or something like that, where there's something that's coming in that's going to be long-term, steady, and stable. It really is... Um, You've got just a beautiful energy coming. Now, after we finish the tarot part, I'll do an oracle reading that will give you the opportunity to ask a timeline and yes and no. So I know in the destiny position, seeing something like the nine of swords is kind of scary, but 
don't worry about that. It's not to scare you. It's just to tell you that you have been through some things that have created anxiety. They have created some instability in your life, but it's really time to come out of that and to, you know, learn from those experiences, but not live in them. The other thing about this card is it's oftentimes about worrying about things that don't come to fruition. So um, it's, sometimes it's real anxiety, real, you know, founded in something real. But, you know, I, I oftentimes have in my own practice situations where somebody will come in and talk about something they really worry about. And the next week I'll follow up and ask them how things went. And they're like, oh God, I completely forgot about that. And so it's kind of learning not to go to extremes, right? You know, to not let that pendulum swing, that emotional pendulum swing so far in one direction that it just feels devastating. Um, and it's, it, you know, sometimes things are, are devastating, but you don't have, you don't have other cards here to really support that. Um, so in the past, you may have had some communication or somebody, something that was very on again, off again. And it was with um, a lot of strength. It was like, you know, this person came in and they, they could be a little much, you know, they were kind of, they kind of came on too strong. It's interesting because you have the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords directly across from, from them. Could have been an email or a text too, where some damage was done. So if it was a relationship or somebody you were seeing, there may have been something there where um, there was something in writing that ended things, whether it was directly like, I don't think this is going to work out or even seeing something that was felt like I, I'm not going to continue on with this. Um, but there is forgiveness in this reading. Okay. So there's definitely, uh, you know, there's, there's something here that, that wants to move forward. Now, in terms of, you know, if it's new love, a new situation that comes in, there may be somebody who is aware of you. So this ending creates kind of a new cycle. Um, you have this in the more recent past, this three of cups. I'm going to go back to reconciliation a little bit here because you may have recently come across somebody um, or it's even a chance encounter, but um, th there's a new beginning here, okay? Um, this is really about embarking like on an endeavor of the heart, on something. But the other thing about this is there's real appreciation for what you have and learning how to focus on that, on the things that you have and will draw more of it to you, those positive things. And so with the Three of Cups, they're very aware of this, all right? This is not a, you know, the, the energy of this is like you being aware of the things around you and even looking around you right now, you know, thoughts become things. Everything around you was once a thought and you've attracted it to you. So you have coming towards you the Page of Swords. He's also the internet spy. Um, so he looks over his shoulder, right? And there's somebody here who's looking out for you. That that may be part of it too, that there's somebody who is actually looking out for you in your experience, if it's at work or if it's in a love interest. Um, you may even get set up by somebody. So if it's not a reconciliation for somebody, it may be somebody that connects you with a person they think would be really great for you. That's a possibility here too. But love is in the air for you, Sagittarius. You have it several times. Um, and I know some of you are more grounded in money, but you definitely have, with the Six of Cups, this sense of nostalgia, a feeling of sentimental longing, a return to love. There is a return to love here. Um, so if it's somebody new and you've been single for a while, it will be that feeling of, you know, it's it would be nice to have a companion to go do stuff like, you know, when concerts are open, go back and see concerts together or... You know, I mean, I'm comfortable traveling alone, but I don't know that I'd be comfortable going to a concert by myself. Um, and it, it's something like that where you start to kind of look back at your life where there were times you were with somebody and you recognize the value in having a partner to go out and do things with, to be with, to call, to text, to just be available to. There's love here. Um, and again, this can definitely be somebody from the past, especially where you have the page of, you know, you've got the Page of Cups. I mean, 
and the Three of Cups. You've got all these reconciliation cards right here. So those of you that are, are wondering about reconciliation, it's definitely indicated in the cards. There's no denying that. But if you're really saying there's no way that's for me, then I encourage you to look at the cards in another way that they can be interpreted, which it does feel like it's possible you could be set up um, by somebody or meet through an, a third party, meet through a friend or something. So interestingly enough, this person is represented or the situation by judgment. Um, and it really is a time to let go of the past and get on with the future. It's acceptance of past experiences and moving past them. There's truth here and there's understanding. So if this person has been in a relationship, they're ready for a new one. Okay, this is somebody very mature too, by the way. Judgment is, you know, in the um, in the order of the major arcana, it's one of the more developed cards. So this person is a complete package. They are, you know, they're, they're ready. Okay. So if you've been waiting on them, they're ready. Um, but there's, in terms of a decision being made too, if it's for work, it's definitely going to go in your favor. So if you've been waiting on a job or waiting on something for school where you've had an application or something like that, the decision will go in your favor. Um, some of you may be somewhat contemplative with the Seven of Cups, <coughs> excuse me, and looking at all the options um, and wanting to make the best decision for yourself. So, and I understand too, when there's love on the line, sometimes we can be apprehensive when we've had some difficulties, but there's, you know, there's a lot of choices here. You may have more than one option who comes in. That's also possible for you. You may have more than one job offer that comes in if it's something related to work. Now, we'll pick up these again. So in the outcome position, what a beautiful outcome, especially with these two as clarifiers. You have the nine of cups, that's wish fulfillment, but it's also appreciation. So it, this is coming out for you a few times here. There's this the more you appreciate your life, the more you draw into you beautiful things. You know, it's when we get down and, you know, we always hear like bad things happen in threes. Why? Because our vibration gets set to a lower frequency. Something breaks and we go, damn it, the refrigerator's out. And then the next thing you know, the computer breaks. And the next thing you know, you know, somebody gets sick and it's on and on and on. And then we finally pull out of it. Why? Because we learn to focus. We adjust our focus. And some people even say, well, it must be done now because three things have happened. And then they think it's a miracle that they've shifted. Well, they've shifted their focus away from it. That's all because they've now believed it's done. So with this, this appreciation will draw into you so much more abundance. And with the sun energy here, this is joy, but it is success. It is complete victory. He waves this banner of victory and it's really wish fulfillment. It's something that really moves your heart. So in terms of a relationship, it's somebody that is, you know, has the potential to be a life companion. Um, it really is beautiful. Now the Page of Cups brings an offer. It's a manifestation card. So if you've been visualizing, if you've been, you know, meditating and then visualizing, you're a powerful, you're in a powerful cycle to bring in wish fulfillment. And um, with the sun, it's completely unconditional. You know, the sun does not pick and choose who to shine on. The sun shines on everyone. And it's like really being in your glory. It's really a beautiful energy overall. Um, so even though there's a few different storylines going on here, ultimately the end to this is really about wish fulfillment. It's about harmony. It's, it's the best result for everyone involved. You know, you're moving forward with something and, um, I didn't mention this, but the Nine of Cups can also be about material attainment. So um, you could certainly be, if you've been you know, wanting to get something new, like a house or a car or something fairly major, that's coming into the reality here. That's especially with the Page of Cups and the Sun, there's a reality here that's manifesting. So um, let's do an Oracle card reading. We'll do the Angel cards first, and then you can ask a timeline and a yes or no question if you so choose. And um, these have already been shuffled, but I'll just shuffle them just a little more just so you know they're being shuffled. All right. All right, 
right, and then the timeline cards. And then the, these are yes or no. They're a little hard to shuffle, so I just kind of throw them around. Um, <laughs> they're very thin. All right. So your first angel card is telling you to ask your angels. So if you want a specific answer or a sign, ask for a sign. Show me what I need to do next. Show me, you know, show me if I'm on the right path. Show me what I should do. Sh you know, work through me. Be my guide. And, um, you know, this would be a good thing to do at, at night. Things are always getting better and better. And know that, that you're being guided on this journey. Then you have remain positive. So, you know, continuing to have a positive outlook. And again, that appreciation is huge. Focusing on the things that you have and that will attract more to you of the same. It has to. It's a universal law. So continuing to be very aware of everything that you've already gained and then communicating clearly. So I also feel like this is important with the law of attraction because what happens with a lot of people, they get a mix of what they want, some of what they want, some of what they don't want. And the reason is they have a vibrational mix. They have, <clears throat> excuse me, something stuck in their vibrational craw that brings in things that are unwanted. And so they may, you know, you may have some fleeting thought that turns into a five minute squirrel cage and then all of a sudden it lowers your vibration so make sure you're communicating too with the universe and being very clear on what you want and asking for it and no ask believe receive so the timing of this is perfect timing right now so you know know that this is here for you especially if you know who this is about or a situation that it's about know that the timing is perfect and the answer to it, God, I've been getting this a lot. It's weird. I've been getting a lot of the same tarot cards. Judgment has been in quite a few readings. And now, yes, once again. So um, you, it's telling you it's a yes. So know that the universe wants to bring you great success. And the sun card, too, is a yes card. So you actually have it twice here. So beautiful, beautiful reading for you, Sagittarius. And Great things shall come to pass. I love you so much, and I'll be back again soon.